Creatine is a nitrogenous organic acid mainly produced in the liver that helps supply energy to the body cells, primarily muscle cells. Three to five grams a day has been proven to increase strength, muscle size, and overall athletic performance. <laughs> Snorting, however, is not the recommended method um, and should be taken orally, not nasally. Creatine is used by athletes such as myself and lazy people blessed with good genetics like Randy to increase the ability to produce energy quickly, increasing performance and allowing you to train harder. <laughs> It's good for short bursts of energy that come in strength training, but not as good for endurance. Creatine enables the body to... Creatine enables the body to work out harder and longer. When you work out harder and longer, you're able to... Be... What the fuck? With more energy, you can work out harder and longer, which in turn makes your muscles grow faster. There's some new research out there that says creatine can actually help boost brain power and help with depression. I just found out though that if you're over 60, creatine really doesn't have an effect. So if you're over 60, there's no need to watch this video. Unless you wanna be entertained by two handsome, muscular, charismatic dudes that are funny. What's up? Creatine is naturally fu Get your line down, you suck as an actor. Creatine is naturally produced by humans. We create approximately one gram of creatine a day. And it's mostly found naturally in red meats. Creatine is derived from amino acids and it's synthesized in the liver, kidneys, and pancreas. It's stored in your muscles and increases the ATP in your muscles. The ATP comes from the carotid artery and goes down from the medulla oblongata, which transfers oxygenated carbon dioxide from the endoplasmic reticulum of the lower and through osmosis. All right, obviously Randy has not been taking his brain-boosting creatine lately, and he kind of sounds like a total idiot right now. Screw you! So I think we're just going to put up a link on the bottom of the screen that's going to explain in detail the whole scientific explanation of creatine and what it does. Does it work? We can honestly say that yes, it does work. How well does it work? <laughs> it works well! Sorry, <laughs> it must... It was probably the creatine. Okay, you should notice some gains, at least something. Gains in strength or size within, I would say, even a week. There's this one guy that I, that I talked to, and he just came up to me. He's like, hey, you try creatine? I'm like, yeah, I've tried it. What do you think? And he's like, whoa, you know what? I've noticed that my, I'm stronger. He was raving about it, and he said, after the seventh week, I miraculously noticed a lot of my joint pain just mysteriously disappeared. So I don't know if that has anything to do with the creatine, but he seems to think it does. Aside from that, he says he absolutely sees gains. Don't expect to see gains of like 20 pounds in a month. It's not like steroids or anything like that. I judge how good I feel on how good I fit into my shirts at the gym. When I started taking the creatine, I started filling out my shirts again, so that gives me a lot more confidence and f good feelings at the gym walking around filling out my t-shirts. But as you're lifting, you can actually feel some weird things going on in your muscles, like when you're benching like 325 for 15, <laughs> now maybe you can get that 16th or 17th rep in and your, your muscles are just like, yeah, I'm not giving up. You actually feel it. Is it safe? <laughs> Creatine again. All our research says that is absolutely safe. It's pretty cheap. It's probably about 10 bucks for a 250 gram bottle at like GNC or another health store. And it's recommended, best kind to take, is probably the cheapest, and that's creatine monohydrate. To reiterate, it's recommended that you take three to five grams a day. Any more than that is probably overkill and isn't going to be effective. And if you're looking at the bottle and it says take a preload phase of like, you know, quadruple that amount. <coughs> <coughs> Research has proven that you don't even need that. Just start off with the three to five grams a day. You can take creatine without having to cycle it. it means you don't have to stop after two months. And there's no negative side effects. There's no bloating and there's no water retention. Although <coughs> I think it is recommended that since it does enable your muscle cells to have more water. <coughs> <coughs> In them, the water's gotta come from somewhere. So that's gonna be inside your body. So you really should be drinking more water than you're used to drinking if you're taking creatine. But if, if you don't, I don't, I think it's fine. You're not gonna, <laughs> you might get achy. Your body might get dehydrated and you might get achy in muscles. So you probably want to drink more water.
I, I don't think so. I think so. H how do you know? Because I've gotten achy without drinking <clears throat> a lot of water. Because I'm a water pumping, cell <clears throat> building machine. You're a penis pumping little whiny sissy. A frail little woman of a man. I'm like a foot tall in this guy, <clears throat> but you can't tell on the camera right now. That's where I benefit. Actually, I'm 5'11", 170. Ian's like, what, 250 and 6'4"? <laughs> anyway, 